All right, we're gonna patch some holes in my old canoe. It's an aluminum canoe. We're gonna use Blue Demon Triple Play Aluminum Brazing Rods. So uh, first you're gonna use a stainless steel uh, wire brush. You're gonna clean up that surface really, really well. You wanna get away the paint. This canoe's already been painted with an aluminum paint, so we just had to like take that away. I'm using map gas, and the map gas will heat up the aluminum a lot faster than regular propane, but apparently propane works too. And um, so what you wanna do is you wanna heat the material itself, and you can te keep uh, like testing to see if it's if it's hot enough by dragging the rod across it and here you see it's just starting to uh, heat up enough and I actually find that if you kind of like push the rod into into the aluminum it's gonna help wet the surface a little bit better you see it's just starting to, to stick in certain places but it, it beads up if it's not getting a strong bond so you're gonna wanna just like push it around a little bit until you see that it's actually got better adhesion. So that one right there was just a rivet hole and it's sealed up. Here you can see some more rivet holes. There was uh, some JB Weld in here beforehand. And so that's all getting removed. You can see the painted over spot on the other side. Just get it all nice and clean. As much of that material you can get rid of the better. You can see that aluminum paint on the other side just starting to bubble away from the heat. This map gas gets hot. The beauty in these welding rods is that it's got a lower melting point than the aluminum itself. And so once you get that nice and hot, it's going to settle. It almost goes like solder. It would be nice if it flowed a little better, but it, it goes right where you put it. Mental note, do this well ventilated area, especially if you've got paint in the proximity of your uh, operation. You see how I'm just like rubbing that, that rod right down and it's like wetting and sticking. So once I get the outsides done here, I'm going to basically just fill in the hole around it. And so you're, you're keeping the puddle warm. And that's another one. This time I got a hole. It's a pretty substantial hole. But the process is the same. You're going to notice that there's some some warping of the aluminum from, uh, from heating it up. So you go kind of big. Instead of just focusing on one little pinpoint, it kind of like spreads that distortion out a little bit. So my goal on this is to fill in that whole surface. We're gonna hide those screws. Those are stainless screws. They're going into like a bulkhead on the other side, but the salt water over the years has just eaten that right open. This canoe is from the 60s. So it's, it's withstood a lot of time and elements. You can see all the pitting here.
So wet the surface. Kind of builds like a little bond. And then you can slowly just like drag across and it, it fills in. A little bit of this is falling through on the other side. You could uh, put something under there to block that and keep it from dripping in, but for the most part, if, if your work surface is level, it's going to sit on top and pull up. There you see a different angle. Then if you're worried about this uh, bulge on top, you can hit this with a sand or a grinder afterwards. I'm going to be repainting this all with the aluminum paint anyway. what it looks like that one's all done up so this last part is where the, the keel is it's joined the two aluminum panels come together and the whole thing is riveted and there's a strip of rubber in between which is really a challenge so just clean it up as much as possible I'd like peel that up just to try and remove as much debris that had settled in there over the years and um, I'm gonna get it back as close to shape as possible. So with that rubber in there, this is definitely gonna be a messy situation. see some of that rubber smoking up. Take in mind this is all real time so using the map gas it gets hot fast. starting to get to the appropriate temperature here. It's amazing how it just fills right in on those holes. So at this kind of joint right here, I'm wetting the material and the edge itself, looking for the best adhesion. And you see how that's lifted up a bit. 
I'm not too worried about it right now. Gap filling quality, it just builds a dam. So as you can see, I'm doing this in sections, um, cleaning the area to reduce the oxidization, prepping the surface so it sticks, heat it up. In some cases, you're going to bang it down with the hammer to keep it as close as possible. But in this situation, I'm just working as I go block by block and then melting the material into the previous section. It's almost like frosting a cake, huh? You can see some of that rubber from underneath venting out the uh, rivet hole there. That's all right, just hit it with the wire brush. Just going to seal that old rubber in there. Thanks for watching my video on the Blue Demon Triple Play 
aluminum brazing rods. If uh, this video was helpful for you, please like it, subscribe, share. If you're interested in purchasing any of the materials used here, I've got some Amazon links below. And uh, thank you. If you do your own welts, or if you use this as well, we got some tips. Leave them in the comments below. Thanks, and good luck with your project.